Here we are for more Pokemon Fire Red. This is part 14 of our multi-part series. Yeah. And we're just done this gym off with a bell sprout, apparently. Yeah. With the drill belt out front, yes. And uh, this drill bit is just like slaughtering these guys and like it is one shotting. Because drill bits is awesome. Because do 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 duo is awesome. Yeah. And we uh, this learned <laughs> try attack right off the bat, Jesus. Episode started kind of fast, yeah. And with this big old thing, yeah, we're going to the gym, man. Yeah, this is the gym. Um, yeah, this is the gym. It's a uh, grass type, you can't tell. With a bell sprout and a leaf bell. I don't think we've actually seen leaf bells yet, or up to this point. Yeah, their evolution of bell sprout. Yeah. Here we got an oddish. Yes, because we all know I love oddishes, you know, like grass. We have another bell sprout, and an oddish, and a bell sprout. They're just taunting me, you know. I can have the hiccups right here. Yeah, use my new microphone. Still playing with it. Got loads of cash. Cash. Johnny Cash. Look, look, and I see my Pokemans. Their grass types are, I like how they're easy to raise because, you know, I'm lazy and I don't know how to properly raise things like this Doduo, which is one shot in my Bell Sprout and one shot in my other Bell Sprout because Doduo's is awesome and so is Aerial Ace. Yeah, almost as awesome as Ice Beam. Or ice cream beam, that'll be really cool. Mmm, should pat him that. What did you peek in here earlier? Uh, no, that was the uh, creepy old man outside. Starts with a Bulbasaur, and then gets an Ivysaur because she cheated and got two starters. And, like, that, that should be illegal right there. Two starters, two starters clause, anyone? You know, Article 15, Section 9, Paragraph 3, Line 32. Anyone? Okay. Yeah, he's using antidotes. Skip that little cutscene. Anyway, uh, this gym is actually a lot harder <laughs> than the original games. Because um, everyone's sprite is exactly the same. So you got this old trio right here, which I'm glad we kept in. But um, you see, all three of them look exactly the same, but you have no one, which, no idea which one's Erica, the gym leader. Yeah. Also, at least the only gym in the game that requires um, HMs. I, I think it's Erica's and then... Uh, Chuck's, I think his name's Chuck, right? The uh, fighting guy from um, Silver and Gold and Crystal. So he requires strength, this one requires cut. It's like, I still have Doug Trio with me, how much I want to get rid of it. You know, you were, you were, you were fun back in the day, but we moved on. I got a flying type. You know, let's uh, save real quick. And we're gonna leave. <laughs> Just save and I'm leaving. Anyway, now we're back. Yeah, I just want to go heal up right there because uh, Doug Trio is running out of power points for Aerial Lace since he, that is literally what all he's been, or she's been using. Yeah. Please to meet you, my hoppies. Pokemon training, well, no duh. Okay, oh, execute. Haven't seen these before. Yeah, she just has an execute. But, uh, it's grass is psychic type. Um, execute's kind of the defensive side. Yeah, I use reflex and light screen and safeguard and all that. I think it has confusion on it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know every a girl with all these people's names. Like, I know Lori was a was a Bree back there. Actually a Bridget, but I'll get some Bree on it, technically. Yeah. No, oh, whatever. Here's an Oddish again. But uh, here's something new. Right here we got a Gloom, yes. Of course, Gloom's just slightly harder to beat than an Oddish, but nothing compared to Drillbit, because Drillbit is awesome. Lisa! You killing me, Lisa! Let's save. Yep, and this is the gym leader. Finally, this is Erica, student of art. Yep. It's like, oh, wait, oh, you weren't here to talk? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go get this gym battle over. Like, it really? I, I, you just watched me beat all your little lackeys. Or gym lackeys, as I think I've been calling them. Yeah. Gym grunts? I don't know. And anyway, she starts off with Victory Bell, which is the uh, full evolution of the Bell Sprout family. You know, also. Weeping Bell, uh, really, I don't know. It's more bark than, or it's more bite than bark, I guess. Yeah, it's all mostly offense, not a lot of defense, I believe. I think they used Victory Bell like once in Pokemon Stadium. Here's uh, Tangela, which you all know is my favorite from Pokemon Stadium. So it's wrap and bind, it's just like, rah, rage. It has a uh, poison powder, I think it has poison powder, stun spore, sleep powder, uh, all that jazz. Yeah, whole nine yards. 
of annoying little tentacles. I mean, I got rid of Tangela. And uh, this last one is the fully evolution of the Oddish family, Vileplume. Which I believe is more defense than offense, according to Victory Bell, which is mostly offense than defense. Why'd I use Growl right there? Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I use Acid, which I believe is special defense, special attack. Uh, I don't know, I, mean, I, I think Poison might be. Okay, well, let's use Fly, because, um. Yeah, I gotta get Drain. That's her, that's her signature move, because she actually uses it on like, the rest of them. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Gaga Drain is, uh, is like a basically the ultimate version of Absorb. You know, goes, uh, yeah. This takes a crap load of HP and then puts them all back in. Well, it gives half the damage just you puts in their HP. So that's why you don't want to use a lady with water types or ground types or rock types for this, because they will suck you dry and then benefit from it. Oh, come on. Really? Okay, don't, no. Okay, one more Mike Punch. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, well, I just had to faint from one guy to drain. Yeah, just a bit tangle and it's poison. Yeah, okay, come on, one, one more Mega Punch, I'll ask. Oh, crap. Come on. Into Force. Yeah, Mur Murphy's Law all over this. I just, you know. Well, there's a clever way to say Murphy's Law, and I would, I would say it right here, but there isn't. It just is. You know, okay, and I'm paralyzed. Come on, just put one Mega Punch off, of course. Yeah, that's her main strategy, is just to either stun you or put you to sleep, and they'll just Giga Drain you, and then, you know, hey, hey, you're out of HP, I have full HP, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, come on, I just need one Mega Punch. Just one. Just one, please. Thank you. My whole strategy here is that I'm gonna Mega Punch it, and then it's gonna take me out. And then since Shell Shock is a higher level than Vile Bloom, I can just bite it out. Yeah. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna risk a Mega Kick. Yeah. Okay. And then bite it. And there is Erica right there. Yeah. It took way longer than it should have since you know it fainted drill bit or knocked drill bit out. I'm just putting EDs on the end of all the words I want to. So I do what I want. I speak the English very good. Yeah, I didn't say good, because just saying I speak English good is already not speaking English correctly. This is I speak English well. Yeah. Here we are, four gym badges. Yes, halfway done with this part. Yep. There's definitely going to be 28 episodes. Be far more than that. I'm talking about maybe a little shorter than the Ruby. Yeah. Because yeah, Ruby had a really long main story in comparison. Doug Drew, we use cut, yay! Yep, so and that's about the end of this. Yep. Got a couple more things to do, so let's uh, do more stuff, man. Yeah. Let's ride our bike very, very slowly up to the uh, Pokemon Center. Let's go heal up real quick. Okay. We healed up quickly. Um, not a lot to do. Let's see how much cash I have. I need more money. I need more monies. Okay. Rock game quarter. That's that's the suspicious. Yeah, oh man, I'm still short. Of course. Well, there's one place we can get cash. Yeah, which I really don't want to do because I want to get my new party member before I do this. But there's amount of EXP outside we left for later. That's why you save up, kids, because you'll need it. Which I guess you know, Drillblade does need experience, so better than nothing, I guess. Man, that's a lot in the right. Wanna long ride? Anyway, uh, yeah, here we are, Route 8. Let's go take these guys out. Yep. So here we have a uh, super nerd. He's talking about chemistry and stuff. You know, like, hey, gold rocks in the bar. And he's like, hey, you. Yeah. And then goes silver and like, silver's all like, hey, G. Yeah. That's the only chemistry joke I really think of. And, uh, there's one really complicated one, but it has to deal with all the acronyms, and it's or the atomic names, or whatever you want to call them, and the official element names, you know? The element symbol, that's what I'm trying to think of, yeah. Yeah. Basically, a kid walks in the bar and says, like, hey, what's the name for, uh, uranium? He's like, you, and goes on and on, yeah. 
Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we gave the tea to the guards, where the tea, tea goes. We're now allowed in Saffron City. Yes, the cities we've basically been walking under for how many episodes? We're finally here, and we're not going to spend a lot of time here. We're just going to go heal up real quick. Yeah. Don't worry, uh, Saffron City is going to be on a later date. Yeah, we're... Yeah. Not a lot we can do here right now. Not a lot. Not that a... I talk so fast, 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 fast. Okay. Saffron City. Uh, I don't know, Saffron is kind of a weird name, just Saffron. Yeah, I mean, what color is that? Oh, that's, that's some Saffron, you know? No, no Celadon or Vermillion events? It's Saffron. Definitely. We have the bikers, like, my bike's acting up, man, it's all Saffron colored and not, you know, pewter colored. Got a coughing and a grimer. And then, oh, that's it. it ooh, level 28, wow. Man, he was like, what, like, or she was like level 20, like last episode. Yeah, trust me, there's more of that came from, kids. Okay, gonna go back up here. Uh, we have this gambling, rambling dude. All right, let's play a game. It's called Pokemon Fire Red, and we're playing it. Or I'm playing it. You know, I don't, I don't know. Let's play. I'm starting to really think of that. And all these my descriptions just say we, as in you guys are actually doing something. Hmm. You know, we got a polywag, polywag, and polywhirl. I think we've seen polywhirls before. Look at that, I'm getting my cash. Man, these guys are just not making bank for me. Hey, you, gold. Okay, it has a grimer, and what else do you have? Do you have another grimer? Yep, another grimer. I guess it is. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Two grimers. Grimers and Garfins. Yep. And we up here we have this weird formation. I'm supposed to be silly standing around here. No, I, I think the guy in the middle there is pretty lucky, man. He has three girls hanging out with him. He's a super nerd. Yeah, that's like me and Rodus. Like, I, I'm pretty sure the super nerd character. I'll show you guys in a second. Like, he has to be based off of someone, you know. Okay, uh, Rata, Pikachu, Nidoran, all the stuff you've seen before. Enemy else, oh my god. How big was that party? Like, five? Jeez. Jeez, Megan. I also know Megan. I know everybody. It's, uh, well, let's say a super nerd character model. Or sprite, I guess. I'm used to saying character model because I'm used to 3D games. Um, weird. Is that a Team Rocket mentor? Hey, let's look at that guy. Hold on. I'll see in a second. Let's <laughs> cut that out. Uh, uh, come on. Copping. See, look at that. He looks way too, like, a nerdy 80s Japanese guy. You know, or maybe late, early 90s. He just looks like. What if, what if a nerd in, like, a 1980s high school movie looked like if he's Japanese? It, it just makes me think that they based off someone working on Nintendo, you know? Oh, we learned tri attack Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, tri attack is a normal type attack. It's actually pretty decent, but um, it has a chance of either freezing, paralyzing, or burning the target. And right there, it is um, bird that near Need a ran a Need a run a Need a run a that's what the Canadians say. They're running. They're like, hey, I need to run, eh? Hey. Yeah. Meowth? Meowth. I can't break out his accent. Got Andrea. I also know Andrea. Yeah. Do I know Andrea? Actually, no, I don't think I do. No. And we got some twins right there, and then we got another nerdy guy. He, he doesn't look like his overworld sprite, doesn't look like the same thing as in game sprite. I like, yeah, it would be even similar. Hey, we got a muck. Yeah. And we've seen muck since XD, man. That was my guy. His name's Glenn. Yeah. But it, it has, it's the epitome of the nerdy games. Is nerdy names, not nerdy games. This is the epitome of nerdy games. Actually, Dungeons and Dragons is, but only played them once. Yeah. <laughs> Let's play Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. No, that actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. If we get like a really decent animator and some well-known Let's Players together, yeah, uh, we'll take turns being Dungeon Master. That, that actually could be simply the greatest idea known to mankind, and I thought of it. So, if you're anybody else have that idea, go watch episode 14 of Pokemon Fire Red as LP'd by Hell to Gunpoint LPs. You will know that I had the idea first. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's an exciting battle right here. I'm to beat. Last Julia, I don't have a new I don't know a Julia. I don't. Maybe I need to. 
And Drillbill is evolving. Oh yeah. What a third head up here. Third head? Third head. Third. Third. Watch way too much Dogger Who. <laughs> oh yeah. My third grew a third head. Which is weird saying because birds only have one head, but no, this one had two. Yep, and that, and now it is a Doug, or a Doe Trio. Not a Doug Trio, Doe Trio. And then Am. Yeah, this is our first double battle, I believe. Yep. Well, of this game, you know. XD Guild Heart, this is all double battles. Except for the battle CDs. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna aerial ace. A waterfall. See, so, yeah, I'm gonna keep this in, since, um. I have no idea how to edit out, or edit up. Double battles. So I'm probably gonna keep double battles in their integrity. Okay, so aerial ways. Since they normally only have like the two Pokemon out front, so yeah. I don't know. Basically, I'm gonna cut it. Yeah. Get some like, okay, here's this one, this one, and just, I don't know. So yeah. Double battles are gonna stay, probably. Most likely. And we know how we did lose our twin power. Oh my god, yeah. yeah okay, so, um. Yeah, this really wraps up this video. Now we have a couple more minutes to go. Deciding what we're going to do. Do we want to go through Saffron or are we going to take the underground path? Let's take the underground path one more time. Now we don't. Now it's totally obsolete. I'm going to mention I have Fly, which, uh. Ble yeah, beating Erica lets you lose Fly, I believe. You know, I have to rewind the video, listen to her talk. I was ignoring it, I was busy talking about something and how awesome Drill Bit is. Because Drill Bit is awesome. Yeah, if I can pronounce it right. Drubit, 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 you have a bit. My drill. Yeah. Son. Yeah, I like my new microphone. Yeah, I'm holding it in front of my face like this, and I'm going all the way over. And it sounds weird. Anyway, enough for this episode. I'm going to uh, just look at my stuff real quick. Think about what I can sell, because I need more cash so bad, man. Oh, but that'll be enough. Well, that'll be enough for this episode. We're gonna do find some money next time, and maybe do some plot story stuff. Yeah. And um, you can do I have anything in item storage? No, there are no items. Okay, nothing to sell in there. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna save up real quick, real quick. Here, see you guys next time. Pokemon XD Fire Red. I messed up the outro. See you guys next time.